Welcome to another interesting day on Asset TV. We're going to jump into some video. The first one we're going to jump into is this video. As you can see on the screen, <laughs> Goat Thief in Clarendon. <laughs> in case you don't know, for those international uh, you know, audience, Clarendon is in Jamaica, okay? <laughs> no, them catch this Goat Thief and they will kill him with lick. Now, before I play the video, <laughs> Um, I can't tell myself. Before we play the video, just a few things more I mentioned. Even though I said they would have killed him with lick, when they were hitting him, when the police was hitting the side of the van, most of the hit was gone on the side of the van instead of hitting the actual guy. Maybe a little bit is catching him. There's one person in the video actually <laughs> mentioned that. You know, so they lick, yeah, lick this man in the eye water in the damn eye. <laughs> Basically, they're insinuating that he's faking it. Lastly, before we play the video, <laughs> check out the guy that the blue mask. Jaja Lua, just keep an eye. Let's go. <laughs> What I don't understand here is Oh, this man got big goat thief, and him wear church shoes. <laughs> you know, say why it's good. <laughs> How about that? Clocks, judge and all. Why it's cool? I bite him, see, you know. Anyway, let's finish it. Somebody have Zayn. Buckley, Buckley. Let me say that observe. Come here. Let me say that observe. Find your beat. Tell me what. Tell me what you see. Nothing wrong. The boy is still for criminals. He got the feeling. Who are you? Okay, so the video done this so, and uh, I'm going to jump into the next one. But this is funny. But this is all a message to all of the goat thief the middle of Jamaica. This is what happened to you when you get catch. <laughs> you gonna get some lick. Jaja. So in this video, because I've calmed down laughing, in this video is the temperament has changed. We have a couple that has been caught on camera begging. Um, and they're basically pretending to have this child in their hand which they do have a baby actually but they're pretending not to be together and they're taking turns begging people on the street and they're using the baby as a prop in order to get people's sympathy so just check this out boy this is jamaica this is crazy jamaica is not a real place they say and boy doesn't this video prove it let's go watch that boy there cross the road there's a gas station you see him with the pit in i'm on i uh, see the woman they lean up I uh, two of them are working, you know, them I use term term. Term term, them I use and I use a picnic for big as sham. See him there? I make him a big as sham, you know. I uh, see him on there. See, I lean up, I eat the patty. Him just eat for him patty, you know. And then him take the baby. Is it? I must say, though, this is not fair on the baby to expose the baby to this type of situation. Um is sad i don't know the circumstances of these couple or should i say those couple but um it doesn't look good though it doesn't Me? strong boy you know you ever forgot how you place near where you where, where you live you know but them not choose to work you see him see how they know a few time i eat the party 
Anna style. Him just see it for him party and take a baby and girl and stand up away from each other. Why well, I mean, I tell you, say, people really find the easiest way to live in. <laughs> but cook on them, because they're strong. So she take back the baby there you now. See her there? She take back the baby from him and see him there. See him there, lean up away from her. See it? Yeah, so then do it in a term term when they want tired you know. They want to see it. I want to see it to the people. Nobody wanna see a road enough to sorry for you know. That's true, you can see her there with the baby. Again, this is not the best condition to expose the baby and I'm assuming they're out there for hours in the hot sun. But I mean I tell you, you know, but Jamaica go through a crisis right now, you know. Because everybody a cry say boy the government now help the country and not that I've, is any excuse for these couple to do this but it's just it's just a shame it's really it's really heartbreaking to be honest. Yeah man, you understand me I say? Now this video that I'm about to show you is shocking. When I say shocking. Shocking is an understatement. Now, we don't know if that demon rise up out of this chick kid, but brother, you need to watch this um, to see it. It's just, it's crazy. No, I forgot to pause it. Don't worry, I'm going to run it back. But, <laughs> I laugh and I take bad things, bad joke. Whose child is this? How can the taxi driver or the driver of this vehicle see the way this child is going in on an adult, a grown woman that could be her mother, and the taxi driver don't even pull over the cab and say, listen, you local girl, if you can't behave yourself and have manners to grown people, and dash her out to their friend them. Seriously, that's what I would have done. You know what I mean? This type of disrespect would not be tolerated in my vehicle if me a taxi driver. Where them taxi driver had upon me put it upon them. What a kind of parents. This is showing you the home growing of these kids, you know. What you see in this play in public is what go on behind closed doors. Jamaica and again being brandished to the world. Boy, this not look good. This not look good. Let's go on. Look on the girl's face, brother. It's like a demon one jump out. <laughs> Jaja. What kind of problem and pressure she have so? My God. And even, I don't know the story, but even if, say, let's say the adult disrespected her in some way or she felt disrespected in some way and she decided that she couldn't bottle it up, you do not disrespect your elders. When I was growing up, I know every elder would it like. All of we know some grown person that we can't stand. But we never ever think of even disrespecting them like that, especially in public. This is crazy. This is the future. This is a school girl. This is the future of Jamaica. Pay attention. Jamaica is not a real place, bro. And when Jamaica get worse, then everybody gonna sit back and complain. But you're sowing the seeds today. So what you reap tomorrow, don't complain. <laughs> Boy, let me cool down. So, me recover from that the demonic experience <laughs> where we just witness. No. I don't know who these guys are, but there's some guys drifting. Let me warn guys or viewers, kids, don't try this at home. These are professionals. 
doing what they're doing. So don't be a copycat and do this. I don't condone them doing it on a public road like the way they're doing it, especially when you see it in a public square with people and other vehicles around. But I'm going to roll the video, but them have skill. I'm not going to take that from them. Them have some skill and maybe the right person will see this video and embrace them and take them in and train them and them can do some drifting for Jamaica or something or race for Jamaica or something. But you know, they, they, I understand it. They're doing what they can with what they have. But at the same time, them kind of endanger people on the road. But let's check out the skills anyway. And as I say, people, don't copy this. Do not copy this. Okay? So let's go. If you notice what just happened right there, so no, this is a mad somebody, even though he have skill. If you notice the silver taxi where the man in the white t shirt is standing in front of the silver car, uh, white or whatever that color is, he had to stop. He have right of way, you know, in the pandemian road, the guy's on a side road, and him fly out like him have right away. This madness. This is why I said don't copy this at home. But maybe they know him in the community. So when they hear the cars coming, them whether they have right away or not, them just stop and make these you know skilly skilly whatever they want to call themselves do they, do them thing. And as I said, them have the skill, but I think it's the wrong place to display your skill. But then this is Jamaica, they don't have the investment in the youths who have these type of skill to get them to the right place to do it. So them take it to the streets, but then the downside is yeah, risk other drivers' lives and yeah, risk pedestrians' lives. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> See there, all the care them are pull out of the road, watch it. All on the sidewalk, them there now. My goodness. <laughs> So a second car joined him this time. The two cars that we saw separately are now drifting together. Watch this. Well, my mistake. No, that's a different one. The red one at the back was drifting separately. This one at the front is a different one. So it seems that if it's three of them in all that's drifting in the street. And you see the kids them on the wall, I sit down and I look. All enough for them mind, you know, is, boy, I wonder if me can do that. No. Unless you know professional drivers, because they might be professional drivers, I observe, I don't know. But as I say, I keep saying, don't copycat this. Kids, don't try and copy this at home. This is dangerous. And you have to have good car control to do this type of thing. Having said that, the road wet. Them going down a hill with a puddle of water at the bottom of the hill. So this is already dangerous in the environment. Them in a, on top of that, they're driving like <laughs> Mad Max. <laughs> but hey, the skill is undeniable, definitely. Now we're going to change up the pace a bit uh, and we're going to go over to Thailand and in Thailand there's this uh, elephant. Um, I didn't even know they had sugarcane uh, in Thailand but anyway this elephant is basically um, singling out particular trucks, particular vehicles. This is how intelligent elephants are. 
he's singling out particular vehicles to block them and toll them for um, sugar cane. Watch this. Very interesting. <laughs> So you see, the elephant come out and block the road. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> None shall pass. The elephant come out and block the road, you know, because it wants the sugar cane on the back of that lorry. And it knows how to differentiate between all the different vehicles and only target the lorries. So let's go. <laughs> and the driver them know some of them, so you see. Take him sugar cane, take him toll, and then go and eat. This is Thailand. <laughs> See, the full trucks. So, if you notice, there's oncoming vehicles the other side of the road, but those lorries are empty. It's not interested in the empty lorry, it's only interested in the lorries that's got the sugar cane. So, I'm run it back a little bit. Yeah, you can see there's a lorry there in the frame. That that one is empty. It's not interested in that one. It's interested in the other one that's coming because it knows when they're coming to pick up and when they're going to drop off. So it just goes to show you how intelligent animals are. Not only is he distinguishing between the different vehicles, he's distinguishing between the lorries that's got the sugar cane and the ones that don't. Amazing. <laughs> He's trying to avoid the elephant, but the elephant ain't having it. See? Okay. So he slows down and stops. And he puts a hazard light on to let oncoming traffic behind him know that, you know, it's hazardous, he's going to stop, and there's an elephant, there's an animal. This is amazing. So, this video is about to end, but I just thought I'd stop it here before it ends and say thank you for watching. Until next time, keep it locked, stay cool.